channel. Okay, so you probably saw yesterday um, that we got a positive test with our first response. I actually have that here. So you can see, oh, you can see that there. It came up so much stronger as it dried. So that's that. Um, today I've actually got two of these. I've got digital and a normal, just a normal urine. Well, they're all urine tests, but I've just got a normal ink run and a digital. And I've got my first morning urine, so I thought we'd do this. Because I really want to see what the um, digital came out like, because that line went really quite dark. So I've got this one. And this is the week's indicator one. That's why I wanted to do it, because obviously I wanted to see what it was going to say. Okay, so I'm going to dip this one first. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that one's good. And it's going across like so. While well, that's going across, I'm going to do this one. This one has to go in for 20 seconds. Get a bit close. One, two. So that one's gone all the way across. So if you can see, and it's already showing on there. It's already showing on there. And this one is flashing away. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one on the side. If you can already see, this one's come up already. You can just see it on the camera. It's not really picking up very well on the camera, but you can see that it's already coming up on there. So the reason, oh, we're out of focus. The reason I want to do the digital is because of how strong these are coming out. Now, if we go by my OPKs, then I should only be 11 DPO. So these are quite strong for 11 DPO. Normally when I have my pregnancies, um, when I do my tests with my pregnancies, I don't ever get a positive until 10 DPO. And even then it's really faint. So. Yeah, so this is quite a dark response. <laughs> so, and my husband made a little bit of a wise crack as to, oh, because it's baby and number eight, there may be more than one, there may be multiples. And he's very right, there could be. I know that like in, in the distance, like in the past somewhere, there's been um, twins in our family, somewhere along the line, but not close, so. We'll see. And obviously, the more babies you have, the more likely you are to have multiples. Because as you get older as well, you release more eggs. So, we'll see. But yeah, it came up quite dark. And this, this is nowhere near finished yet. It hasn't even gone its time. And look, it's come up already. And uh, you can't see... Oh, i focus again. You can't see how dark it is on the screen, but it is really quite dark it's very much there and this one's still blinking these ones take absolutely ages so it could just be you know that I've just got a high level of HCG it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna have twins um, but we do know there is a baby inside of me one way or another so it's exciting it's exciting it's exciting I was really really surprised at how strong this came up yesterday um, Oh, it's not going to focus, 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 focus. Yeah, that came up rather strong. It's actually a lot stronger in person than it is on the camera. Um, I think it's because of the glare from the window. But we are over the moon. My husband's like really over the moon. I didn't film telling him. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like it was a personal thing. Um, so I didn't tell them. The ch children do know as well because we're all in the house. There's nine of us in this house. There is no way to hide. There is no private conversation between husband and wife. There is just openness. It's children are everywhere. There's no keeping secrets in here. So yeah, we went ahead and told them. Um, but obviously they know that they're not allowed to tell anybody else yet because it is a secret until we know that we are in a safe area to go and then tell people. So I can't believe how strong this has come up. This is just craziness. 
absolute craziness that done yet. Oh, it is, look. Here you go, so it's come up. Can you see? One to two weeks. Oh, <laughs> that makes me a little bit mad. A little bit mad, a little bit crazy. Not mad, crazy, that's what I meant. Look at those, look at those. There is no mistaking it now. I wish that would. Sh the, the, I wish this one would show up as dark as it does in person on the screen, because then you could tell what I'm talking about. Um, there's no denying it. There is a baby inside of me, and things are going to get a whole lot crazier. <laughs> oh, we are over the moon. We are over the moon. Like I said, we weren't, you know, TTCing. We weren't trying to conceive. We were just not preventing. Um, so yeah, baby number eight is on its way and so will a lot of updates and you know, all things pregnancy coming your way. <sighs> it's just a little bit crazy. The kids are over the moon though. The kids are absolutely over the moon. My eldest kept giving me cuddles going, yes, there's another baby. And then my, <laughs> the reaction from my 12 year old, he just, he didn't click to start off with. And then he just went there. He just looked at me and went, oh. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. And then he just looked at me and went, Mum, please make it a boy. There's too many girls. <laughs> so she can't put these things on order. You can't order a boy. You get what you're given. <laughs> Bless him. But yeah, there is, you know, there's two boys and five girls. So they're kind of really outnumbered. Um, but yeah, we will see. We will see what happens. So, but they're over the moon and my little ones keep cuddling my belly saying, Mummy, the baby's talking to me. Bless them. It is the sweetest. It is the sweetest. Even though my, my four-year-old actually told me this morning that, Mummy, there's two in your belly. Did you know there's two in your belly? There's a boy and there's a girl and the boy's on this side and the girl's on that side. So, oh, okay. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Um, so yeah, I've got to get to some planning and put my he my head in the pregnancy mindset and uh, get going. I must be crazy. It's eight kids. Crazy, crazy. But this will most definitely be our last. We do plan on after this baby is born, my husband will then go and get a vasectomy um, because we don't want any more than that. And, you know, this is a challenge in itself and we are over the moon we couldn't be happier so yeah i'm still kind of trying to get my head all the way around it and how quickly this has happened and come about and all of a sudden what there's a baby so i'm trying to get my head around it let's just i'm trying to get my head around it so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching us get these positives um i know that me looking back on these in years to come it's going to kind of warm my heart up and even though it is baby number eight we are just as excited as we were with our first. So yeah, we're having another baby and I hope you come along with us on this journey. There's a baby in my tummy again. <laughs> can't get my head around it, I can't get my head around it. I'm so excited. It's gonna be teeny and I can't wait to squish its face off. We've got a long way to go yet because this would put me, where would this put me? It says one to two weeks. What does one to two weeks mean? Okay, I'm gonna look at this. I should know this off by heart, but my memory's not serving me well. One to two weeks puts me at three to four weeks. And if I'm, my color, uh, calculations are correct, it puts me at about four weeks and four days, I believe. So I'm at the later end of that. Uh, if I go on the basis of my last period, it puts me at four weeks and about four or five days, something like that. Something like that, but we'll work that all out. We'll get all that little bits and pieces in, but we are having another baby. Look, I know I'm gonna, oh, you can't even see that one. I'm gonna keep showing everybody. I'm just gonna keep showing, because it's really exciting. <laughs> I'm a mad person. Okay, I'm gonna stop babbling now, because I'm excited. I love you all.
I love you all and I can't wait for you to come along on this journey of baby number eight with me and my large family. I love you all. See you in the next one.